International Earth Day 2021, let's restore our Earth. What is Earth Day? Earth Day is an annual event on April 22nd to demonstrate support for environmental protection. First held on April 22nd, 1970, it now includes a wide range of events coordinated globally. Why do we need to love our Mother Nature and save the Earth? We are going to talk about the Earth Day under four topics. First one, lessons we learned last few decades to our experiences. Second, what can we do as a country to save the Earth? Third, what can we do as a team or as an individual to save the Earth? Last one, teachers thoughts and children's creations. Let us first discuss the lessons we learned last few decades through our experiences. Our sprawling cities and consumption of fossil fuels also have a direct impact on the environment. These activities are also causing changes in global weather patterns leading to an increase in natural disasters. Today more people than ever are vulnerable to natural disasters. Population growth and rapid growth of urban populations in developing countries over the last few decades has resulted in increased number of people who require help each year as a result of natural hazards such as storms, floods and earthquakes, etc. More than a billion people now live within 62 miles of an ocean, with over 10 million people being affected by flooding each year. Global climate change now threatens to increase these numbers significantly in the 21st century. Nature seems to have hit the reset button, reclaiming the spaces to heal itself as the anthropogenic activities have slowed down. Amidst all the gloom and doom that the COVID-19 pandemic is giving, there seems to be a proverbial silver lining and some positive consequences as well. Some of these are decrease in air pollution level due to less carbon emission, environmental noise pollution reduction, animals are on the street. While humans are restricted to their homes under global lockdown, the wild animals all over the planet seems to have come to reclaim their territory. Proper waste management. Increase in saving energy, etc. Now let us see what we can do as a country to save the earth. Bike more driveless. You can ride a bicycle whenever possible rather than using your vehicles, as it reduces the carbon emissions. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Cut down on what you throw away. Follow the three R's to conserve natural resources and landfill space. Choose sustainable seafood. Plant a tree. Trees provide food, oxygen. They also help to save energy, clean the air and help to combat climate change. Educate. You can help others understand the importance and value of our natural resources. Conserve water. The less water you use, the less runoff and waste water that eventually end up in ocean. Shop wisely. Buy less plastic and take a reusable shopping bag whenever you shop. Do not send chemicals in our waterways. Choose non-toxic chemicals in the home and office. Long-lasting light bulbs are a bright idea. The energy-efficient light bulbs reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Volunteer. Volunteer for cleanups in your community. 
What can we do as a team or as an individual to save the earth? We can do many things to save the earth. Organize polluted environment cleanup programs, plant more trees, recycle and reuse, reduce the usage of plastic and polythene, use eco-friendly bags or vessels, share eco-friendly thoughts or quotes with others, and encourage and appreciate others to protect the earth. As an example for environment cleanup programs, we can clean the beach. And also, we can team up to clean a public place like a park. We need to plant more trees to save the environment. The world produces about 300 million tons of plastic waste each year. Only 9% of the plastic waste generated is recycled. Recycling is the process of converting recyclable materials into new ones and objects. It helps to reduce the pollution caused by waste. Remember, recyclable materials are not trash. Practice home recycling and separate the recyclable materials at home. Say no to plastic bags. Small actions like those can help protect the environment from being damaged. We should take care of our planet as it's our home. Reusing and giving a new purpose to old materials is one of the best ways to help the environment. Teacher, can you guess what we are going to do now? I know that we are going to do a small activity. But what are we going to learn now? We are going to reuse a cardboard box and make a house for birds. That's a smart idea. So what do we need to make it? We need a cardboard box, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a piece of string and some dry straw. Teacher, can you tell me the first step? Okay, let me explain the first step. First, you need to draw a circle on the side of the box and cut it out. Cut a few strings and attach them so that you can hang the bird's house. To finish it, put some dry straw into the box so that the birds can live comfortably. You also can try to reuse a cardboard box to make a house for birds and decorate it the way you want. Here are some eco-friendly quotes. Anything else you are interested in is not going to happen if you can't breathe the air or drink the water. Don't sit this one out. Do something. By Carl Sagan The truth is the natural world is changing and we are totally dependent on that world. It provides our food, water and air. It is the most precious thing we have and we need to defend it by David Attenborough. It is our collective and individual responsibility to preserve and tend to the world in which we all live by Dalai Lama. Let us see some of the creations done by the teachers and children. The Earth is for All of Us by Miss Maneka Pereira Plants, humans, animals and the oceans together we call as Mother Earth is nothing but a charnel house if only humans lived alone. Do love the Earth. It's the greatest miracle. Do love the Earth. It's the home for every soul. Let's protect this beautiful creation. Let's give the earth what is given us. By keeping its green parts in green, blue parts in blue, brown parts in brown. And never give up that feeling you hold. The earth is for all of us. Forgotten Lessons of Mother Nature by Miss Lakshmana Singha I look at the sky so blue, sun shining so bright, transmitting heat and happiness with its glistening light. Feel the peace which you find in the sky, positive atmosphere which gives pleasure so high. 
green rustling grass waving in the gentle breeze dancing in rhythm with so much ease feel the beaming leaves of the trees stay calm and say bye to all your worries look up at the trees hearing the songs of the birds cheerfully singing smooth melodies without words feel the morning with chirpings of the birds let them greet and entertain you just with their words in an alluring morning sitting here holding my knees to my chest watching and hearing nature at its best i ponder and wonder how nature could get it so right when we have let nature's lessons get so out of our sight we hold our anger let our happiness fade away making our survival a struggle each and every day we have forgotten the little things that mean so much like the freedom the laughter and someone's loving touch if only i could make people quit watch and listen to nature's fable we would all sit back peacefully and our world would not be so feeble if each other's existence in harmony we could all survive as the mother nature's our lives too would thrive the story of nature's fury by miss lakshani mutukumarana all the kingdoms once powerful collapsed many of the human kind relapsed teaching that we are the same and the color is not a proclaim mankind who thought to be mighty became helpless due to the deadly curse mother nature who is almighty became the only lifeline to nurse people learn her glory who treated her as a quarry may the people remember the story the story of nature's fury Now you can see a few precious moments we captured where our children appreciating mother nature in their own ways Let's protect our mother earth together Happy Earth Day to all of you